one more thing about nature. We human beings are natural. We are conceived and born natural. And um, when we don't get, if you like, our sort of, uh, say, our amount of nature, in other words, we're in the house, we're in the car, da da da, looking at concrete streets, um, I'd say we suffer. And we need um, crutches, we need drugs, alcohol, tea, everything. We need these things, TV. We need these things, we need the stimulus. But when we're in nature, the stimulus is there for us. Uh, <clears throat> I've just been on a camping holiday my son and stepson. Um, we go to Norway because it's the one place I know where you can just go and swim in the lake and you know almost drink the water. Uh, it is absolutely beautiful. I spend most of the year thinking about it. Diving into a lake, fresh water and you do actually, without drinking, you do actually ab absorb the water. We've all noticed that after a few swims, our wee has gone completely white. We haven't drank anything. It's one of my favourite things to do. Um, and and you're in, in nature, you're camping, it rains or something, and the wind comes up. Nature is the stimulus. I'm happy. I'm happy with it in that situation. <clears throat> um, people are devoured of nature. Um, they're not happy. I think the reason we have so many suicides is that sort of lack of contact with nature. When you've been outside all day, you feel good. You just do. You look good as well. When you've been stuck indoors in an office or whatever, or just driving around, um, you don't feel good. And this count, this adds up. Um, it is a shame that, you know, you've got to look at the amount of unhappy people in the world. We humans are trying to fight a war with nature. Replacing natural things with chemicals and all sorts of other things pouring chemicals into the land into the rivers pollution into the air it is as though we are trying to fight a battle with nature and as I've said we are nature and you can't win the battle with nature we won't be able to strip this world of all its natural things. It won't let us. It will fight back, which it is doing. And it has done in the past too. We've had plagues that have wiped out large parts of the population, other diseases. But, um,. I think this time it's um, it's make or break time. The population is high, 
So one thing is for sure, it's going to get cut down, whether it's wars or plagues or famines, it is going to take a cutback. And <clears throat> I'd rather the humans were cut back than to send many species of animals, insects, fish, birds, trees to go extinct that we are probably capable of we can't win the battle with nature a new world order is what is needed 